les coups reçus leur ont fait tellement mal qu'ils n'arrivent même plus à accorder leur violon quand il s'agit de formuler des critiques contre ces mesures. I will, during the course of my address, say how and why. First of all, I would like to congratulate my colleague, the Honorable uh, Penganaden Padeachi, doctor, for having come up with measures that were beyond the expectations of everyone. I must admit, including opposition members who were left stunned. To a point that they are finding it difficult to formulate criticism like they always do after each budget presented by this government since 2019. Actually, to my opinion, the Minister of Finance, who is recently elected as the African Minister, Finance Minister of the Year, deserves a standing innovation as he did much better than expected. Why I say so, we all know the context in which we are today, a difficult and complex one. After the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on our economy, we are now facing constant waves of rising prices on food and other commodities following the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Despite these challenges, faithful to his values and principles, the Minister of Finance did not remain insensitive. Mr. Speaker, sir, some members on the other side of the House have said that this budget is similar to the two previous ones under this government. Actually, in order to cement the already fragile areas of our economy, there is no alternative than to pursue continuity in the vision of this.